Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be like a vlog of sewing. I'm starting on some of my apparel fabrics and stuff I showed in the last video. Um, and today I'm gonna work on the cardigan, with the wool cardigan that I'm gonna do. I'll show you the fabric and pattern in a second. But well, I'm excited to get started this. It's supposed to be a very easy pattern and hopefully it'll get done pretty quickly. And last night I worked on Rethreading my serger and testing it out and I think it's ready to go so I can use that on this pattern It'll go super quick and I'm excited to try it. Um, it's my first time using a serger on like a project Hopefully I don't mess it up, <laughs> but it worked well on the test testing fabric that I used last night I'll show you guys uh, the fabric and the pattern real quick. All right, so this is the pattern I'm using it's the Lutz by Fiber Mood and it's just this long cardigan. They mostly recommend knits for this but I wanted to make it more like a coat and so I got this nice kind of reversible wool and this is going to be the main outside obviously and then the inside I'm thinking the way you make this it would actually be reversible if not I might try to adjust it so I can make it reversible for the most part but it's got just a nice black back and then this gray and black wool pattern plaid pattern well what, what am i saying but i did print out the instructions here and then i have my pattern right here i have to do some taping and some cutting that i will get to soon but yeah that's the first part i got to put the pattern together and cut it out and get to work i think there's only like six pieces or so like two sleeves two fronts and a back two backs or whatnot so not too hard and I did put in my black thread on my serger and got it all threaded and it works I tested it out on some spare uh, fabric last night and it looks good it's uh, going well so I can use that on this project so I'm going to stick on my headphones and then get to work to putting the pattern together and then cut it all out I think I'm gonna go with the medium sizing. I looked at the measurements and measured myself yesterday. And I also have like a similar coat that I bought years ago, um, or cardigan that is big like this and it's a medium and I like the sizing of that. So I'm gonna kinda stick with that. I should have enough fabric and I'm excited to get this done. I got all my pieces cut out um, yes I did use blue painter to tape uh, because it was easy to like take off and adjust if I needed to and then I saw this tip on like Instagram where you just fold the corners of your sheets and line them up and so you don't have to cut out all your papers if you print it out at home which is nice and so I just got like four large pieces I'm not doing the little sash that you can do with this. See, so you can you can make a little sash, but I'm not gonna do that. Maybe later, I, it's, it's something you can choose to do later. If I want to, um, I would just have to cut that out. But yeah, I got all my pieces cut out for the robe, and now I just have to put it on the fabric now. Alright, 
so I have my main pieces down. I did work, so since this is the back piece, I wanted to make sure it lined up kind of the same with the front pieces. So I put the bottom edge kind of on where this plaid stripe ends. And then to make sure those kind of match up, at least I made sure they, the edges here are on the same line. And then since the pocket kind of stops right above this dark part, I made sure the pocket ends right above the dark part. So with the seam allowance, they should line up pretty well. I think the only thing not gonna line up perfectly is just the horizontal way between the back and the front, but that's that's fine because it's on the side so you won't see it as much. But yeah, I'm hoping I have it laid out right in my head to make all the patterns kind of line up as best as they can. So yeah, I'm gonna slightly pin these down and cut them out and then I have to use that small part to cut out my sleeves. But yeah, I think I'll have actually a lot of extra fabric maybe, but not like a ton to make something else. But yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping this layout works with the pattern and lines it up pretty well. So let's get cutting. So I have all my pieces cut out now, and I have a good amount of fabric left, like a almost a yard. So maybe I can do something with this later. And a lot of like scraps and stuff. It was a lot of work, but I got all the pieces cut out. Now just to start sewing, I gotta read the directions first and figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, I already got all the thread and stuff on my serger, because I'm gonna use that. Because I did briefly go over the instructions last night and they said to use the serger. Because I think, you know, mostly you do this in knit, but it will work well with the wool. So we're going to get started sewing. So after reading the instructions, I found out I'm going to have to delay the rest of this sewing for tomorrow. Because I threaded my serger with the black and that's alright. But I actually need my regular sewing machine also for certain parts. And I don't have black thread for that, so I'm going to have to get some black thread from my mom. Uh, luckily, I'm going over there tonight, and tomorrow I can hopefully finish this by just sewing it all together. Um, I just don't have black thread for my regular sewing machine, and I don't want to risk using white and it being shown. So I'm just going to wait, even though I really want to finish this. Um, I'm going to wait get the thread and and then sew it together so tomorrow finish this but you'll see it in this video still <laughs> so see you tomorrow okay hey guys so since the last clip it's been two days and I but I got everything set up I have black thread in my sewing machine now and I had to get a new fo footer um, thank goodness for Amazon Prime, but I got it all worked out and it's working now. And so I just started pinning what I'm going to sew first. Um, it's the pockets of the cardigan. See, I started pinning them and I was worried because uh, I started using the other cutout of this side and it wasn't lining up, but figured it out, just used the other one. So now I just have to start sewing this all together. Hopefully this will go pretty quick. Um, but you can see I got black thread on my sh machine and on my serger now. And I can start 
putting this together. I got all my instructions here and hopefully uh, this won't take too long to finish because I'm excited to wear it before it starts getting warm again. <laughs> I don't think it will, but you never know in Texas. All right, let's get sewing. front pieces put on and I got you know the pocket right here and I think I did it well because look I even got it to line up with the plaid pieces on both of them um, you know the stripes going into the stripes even with the change of fabric so I cut it right I'm happy about that and now I have cute little pockets but yeah these are the two front pieces um, now I think I'm going to sew these together and trim them up with the overlocker and then sew on the back. Alright, so we got the front and the back connected now. Um, it's a big lump of fabric it's getting kind of heavy to move around when i sew but it's looking pretty good i got all the seams i got some overlocking on the edge to finish out the front it's looking kind of good i got this is like the back piece in the front so i think next we're gonna like sew the seams together of the back in the front all right, so we got the back and front together, and I would say the last part was a little confusing. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, just this neck part for the back. Um, I don't know if it's going to lay right, but kind of looked like the picture. So now we're just going to pin on the sleeves and then sew them all again, sew them on, and then sew up the sides. And I think it will be done. And then we just got to hem it. Exciting. It is kind of get um, a little difficult to maneuver just because it's such a heavy fabric, but it's not too bad. There's strings all over me, <laughs> but we're just going to put on the sleeve now. Okay. just because of the curve and such to get them right but they usually turn out just fine um, I've only you know done them a couple times I definitely pin a lot just to make sure that they line up as I go is hem it but basically done yeah got pockets you see the plaid lined up nicely but 
really liking how it turned out. Just have to finish hemming it. So here's my finished cardigan. Um, I wasn't sure about this neckline at first, but I think it turned out well. And I think I like the contrasting black part of the fabric, but you know, all the plaid matches up. I hemmed it and have my sleeves on. I have a lot of thread on me, but yeah, I finished my first garment of the year. I think it turned out really well. Um, the only confusing part was the neckline. Yeah, but really happy with it. I can't wait to wear it soon. Yeah, really comfy too. Pretty simple pattern to follow. I feel like it's gonna be nice and warm. So yeah, happy with my first make of 2021. I really enjoyed using my overlocker on this project. You can see all the fuzz. It was a lot of fun to do and very easy um, to get the hang of. Made everything go really fast. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of sewing um, this Lutz cardigan from Fiber Mood. I'll have the info of, you know, the fabric and stuff um, down below and the pattern. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing this this winter. Um, really loved how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.